Hello, Idre here, and I am back with an album review. Well, an EP review. Um, Garden, SoundCloud rapper, emo rapper, and just kind of indie artist in general, um, has released an EP called Creature Part 2. Obviously, it's the Part 2 of the Creature series, I guess. Part 1, which came out last year. I first discovered Garden around mid to end of 2019. Uh, I had been aware of the song, I Think You Are Really Cool. And I really did, was not a huge fan of that song. I personally felt that um, overall, I feel like the ukulele driven track came off really corny. But, uh, it was a song Tom from MySpace, which actually drew him my attention back to him and got me a little more into him as it was definitely uh, the layered acoustic guitars and um the production on the thing and even the vocal melody i quite enjoyed um and then after that he released creature part one which i felt was a pretty compelling new listen from a new artist that i haven't really heard much of i thought that it was one of the best underground eps that i had heard come out of last year, and to say the least, I was looking forward to the follow-up, which I was expected to come out at some point this year, and it did. Um, Creature Part 2. This, um, see, one of the things I liked about Garden's music up to this point was the emo aspect of it. I really did like the way he incorporated traditional emo elements into this. And, um, I know this is nothing new. I mean, artists like Lil Peep have been doing it, or had been doing it, prior XXX and Tassione, Juice World, a lot of big-name artists had done this before. But the way that Garden did it had a different sound, and I wasn't sure if I enjoyed it 100% or not. Um, there's a lot of emphasis on the singing, the very emo, traditional singing style. That's heavily seen in almost all of his music, and the same trend continues onto this EP. Um, you see, I I feel conflicted about it because there are songs in which it fits and songs in which it doesn't fit. And uh, unfortunately on this one, I feel like there's more songs in which it doesn't fit. Um, but overall, I think that he ended up following it up with a decent... He followed up part one with a decent EP. I mean, the song starts up with a uh, backup, which I I wish went somewhere more than it did. It's very just basic acoustic song, and um, it doesn't really go past that. And um, I find that his uh, his little vocal things that he does all over this thing are a lot more noticeable and a lot more. Um, kind of overdone when all you have is a little guitar behind you. It's a lot more noticeable and takes away from the song. And Alive, I just kind of feel, follows a similar issue. Well, it isn't as bare bones as Backup, I think that the songs, you know, sometimes the singing just takes away from the song a little bit. Um, but the so one of the songs that really stood out to me as being really good was Don't Fall Asleep. It's very much, it's a lot more emotion in this song. It's a lot, has a lot more elements of the kind of um, punk side of Garden, which I don't see as much. And I know that there's a feature on here, but I don't know who it is, so I don't want to jump on the board. And I don't even want to make a fool of myself guessing. But I do got to say, though, the feature here, and as well as Garden, definitely do put their all to this song. And I think this ended up shining above some of the rest of the songs on here. But the next two songs, again in Stupid, I really enjoy how the little uh, guitars kind of drive the song, even if it does have a beat. Okay, I'm sorry for the banging. There is somebody right above my room working on the roofing on my house. So, either way, Garden. These kind of songs are really nice. I really like the way, again, and Stupid really feel. It gives me a lot of the vibes that I got from Lil Peep on the Live Forever mixtape. And um, I kind of appreciate the way that Garden does kind of follow Lil Peep's footsteps while maintaining his own unique sound. And, that's, and he does that really good on Again and Stupid. The final track, Stolen, I think isn't isn't a crazy track, and I feel like it's just kind of like, meh. 
Um, you know, it's one of those songs where it's like, I feel like I should like it, considering I like some of the other songs on this thing. But, you know, the beginning throws me off, and the song, much like some of the other ones, doesn't go as far as I wish it would. Um, and the problem is when he tries to go too far, he tends to overdo it. Such as the vocals, and on the little breakdown thing, or whatever it was at the end of a live. But I don't want this to sound like a completely negative review. I think that what Garden is, he's still do, he's still young. I mean, he started, at least from my thing, I think it was 2017, he started putting out music under this name, and, um, so it's still relatively early, and he's yet to release a full studio-length album, so I really do think that if he, if, if he follows the good parts of these EPs that he's been dropping and continues on those, he's on track to releasing one of the best emo rap albums I've heard in a while. But, you know, it's hard to say because a lot of these artists don't um, end up moving past this. And that's hard. And the thing that makes me a little nervous is, you know, without Juice World, without X, without Lil Peep leading the, with the way and making it easier for artists to kind of um, do this kind of stuff, artists like Garden and, and a whole bunch of other smaller artists that I like are going to have a harder time getting mainstream success. That being said, you know, after a lot of thinking, I know this is a really short review compared to my typical ones, but that is because it is an EP. I settled on giving this a light six. Now, the reason I give it a light six and not higher is because the album is, or the EP, follows a lot of the same parts that I don't like about some of his other work, such as some of the cringy aspects in the vocals and some of the writing. But it also is an improvement over some of his really early material, which I'm not too crazy about. And it does kind of work work upon the good parts of Creature Part 1, which I still feel is a much stronger EP. Now, all that being said, you know, I think that a light 6 isn't a negative review. It's just above average. It's not great. It's not bad. But it's not, it's not just in the middle. It's a little above. So all that being said... Um, you know, comment what you guys think below. I know this isn't too, this isn't too popular of an EP. Like, he's not too popular of an artist yet, so a lot of you may not know of him that well. But, you know, give him a listen. He deserves it. He's definitely put us all into this. And there's definitely some songs, such as Don't Fall Asleep, Again, and Stupid, that are definitely, that might make my year-end list of my favorite songs. These are good songs. Decent project. I hope for a good, full-length album someday. I really do.